Psalms chapter 34. The word of the Lord says, I will praise the Lord at all times. I will constantly speak his praises. I will boast only in the Lord. Let all who are discouraged take heart. Come, let us tell of the Lord's greatness. Let us exalt his name together. Verse 4, I prayed to the Lord and he answered me. Hallelujah. Freeing me from all my fears. For those of you that may not know the, the story of when King David wrote this, commentaries, stay, commentaries say that he was in a cave hiding when he wrote this psalm. Los comentarios dicen que él estaba en un cueva, escondido, cuando él empezó a escribir este salmo. He was in a cave, running for his life. He was in a cave, hiding from King Saul. Él estaba en un cueva, escondido del rey Saúl, corriendo por su vida cuando él comenzó a escribir este salmo. Hello. <laughs> he was an ex he was hiding and the Bible says that in the book of Samuel, 1 Samuel, that King Saul had become very jealous of King David. El rey Saúl empezó a a ser muy celoso del rey David. And King David had just come home from defeating the Philistines. El rey David <laughs> había llegado a la casa. <laughs> de I'm sorry. <laughs> Joel, you want to go ahead and play something? <laughs> El Rey David había llegado a la casa de la batalla. He had just gotten home from a battle, from a great battle. And the Bible says that he defeated the Philistines. Que él conquistó a los filisteos. And the Bible says, this is what the Bible says, okay? The Bible says that as they began to arrive, as the army began to come home cuando el ejército estaba llegando a la casa, that women came out, muchas mujeres vinieron y empezaron a danzar con gozo porque habían ganado la batalla. And women came and they began to dance and they began to play the tambourine, the cymbals, um, because they were excited, they were praising because the people had just won a great battle. Now all this is going on, and then the Bible says that the women began to sing a song. Mm. You know what song they began to sing? I'm gonna read it for you, I don't wanna say it wrong. It says in book of 1 Samuel chapter 18, when the victorious Israelite army was returning home after David had killed the Philistine, women from all of the towns of Israel came out to meet King Saul. They sang and danced for joy with tambourines and cymbals. This was their song. Saul has killed his thousands and David his ten thousands. So you can understand that King David began to be very jealous. And the Bible says that he began to be afraid because he was afraid of what King David was doing. King David was becoming successful. King David was becoming great in the army. He was becoming a great fighter. So King Saul began to hunt down David, wanting to kill him. El Rey David empezó a uh, venir en contra del Rey David. Porque él quería matar David. Porque él tenía miedo que el rey David iba a venir. That he was going to overpower him. And so we reach this point where now King David is in a cave. 
Ahora el rey David está en un cuevo y él está escondido porque él tiene miedo que el rey Saúl lo quiere matar. And now he is in a cave and he is writing this psalm because he is afraid that King Saul is going to find him and kill him. And as I've shared with y'all before, that when he writes this psalm, it's right after he had to act like he was insane to get out of being killed. Él se portó como era loco para que no lo mataban. Y luego él fue y escondió en un cueva. And then he went and he hid in a cave. So now we get to this psalm, and King David is writing this psalm from within a cave. Now, I don't know about you, church, but there's been times in my life that I feel like I'm in a cave. Yo no sé de ustedes, iglesia, pero hay veces en mi vida como yo siento como estoy en una cueva. I'm going through a hardship. Estoy pasando por una dificultad. Estoy pasando por una prueba. Estoy pasando por una enfermedad. Y siento como estoy en una cueva. And there's times in our lives where we are going through a difficult time. We're going through a hardship. We're going through a sickness. We're going through something that is overtaking our lives. And it feels like we're not going to get out. And we begin to feel like we are in a cave. In a dark cave. In the darkness, in the most difficult time of our lives, in lo más, en lo más difi, di, difícil tiempo de nuestras vidas. Y nos sentimos como estamos en una cueva. And we begin to feel like we are in a cave. The darkness has surrounded us. La oscuridad nos está rodeando. La oscuridad nos está sobrellevando. The darkness has overtaken us. The darkness is surrounding us. And we are feeling like the things that are going on in our lives are beginning to overpower us. Las cosas que están pasando en nuestras vidas nos está sobrellevando. Y como ya no podemos seguir adelante. And we begin to feel like we just can't go on anymore. Have you been there, church? Has estado ahí, iglesia? Have you been there, preacher? Have you been there, mother? Have you been there, been there, minister of God? Has estado ahí, profeta? Has estado ahí, madre? Has estado ahí, ministra? Has estado ahí, um, eh, aquella que está enseñando la palabra de Dios? Has estado ahí donde te sientes como ya no puedes y estás en una cueva en tu vida? Have you been there, church? Where you feel like you are locked in a cave. Where you feel like you are hiding in a cave. Because everything around you is falling apart. Porque todo alrededor de ti se está cayendo, se está tumbando. Everything is just shattering around you. The sickness is overtaking your body. Your son doesn't want to go to church anymore. Your husband is, is, is drinking too much. Tu esposo está tomando mucho. Tu, tus hijos no quieren ir a la iglesia. Ya te dieron, te quitaron dinero del trabajo y ya no te están dando horas. And, and all of these things are, todas esas cosas están pasando en tu vida y sientes como estás en una cueva. And you begin to feel like you are in a cave. And in the cave, from within the cave, King David begins to write this song. Y por adentro de la cueva, el rey David empieza a escribir este salmo. From within the cave, King David begins to write this psalm unto the Lord. I will praise the Lord at all times. Yes, I know there's sickness attacking my body, but I will praise the Lord at all times. I will constantly speak of his praises Constantemente hablaré de, sus de su alabanza. I will constantly speak of his praises, even though there's things going on in my life. I'm not going to stop talking about the praises of God. Aunque hay cosas que están pasando en mi vida, no voy a parar de, hablar, de hablar de las las grandezas de mi Dios. I will not stop talking about the greatness, the mercy, and the blessings of God. I will boast only in the Lord. And he begins to write this psalm from within the cave. People of God, it's time for you to begin to praise God even from within the cave. 
Pueblo de Dios, es tiempo que empieces a adorar y a escribir canciones aún por adentro de la cueva. Cuando estás adentro de la cueva, cuando estás adentro de la cueva y, y las dificultades te están sobrellevando y la enfermedad está atacando tu cuerpo y las cosas se están poniendo más difíciles, es tiempo que empieces a alabar por adentro de la cueva. It's time for you to begin to praise God from within the cave. It's time for you to begin to praise God from within the circumstance. It's time for you to begin to praise God from within the hardship. I know you've been going through it. I know you've been suffering through it. I know at times it feels like nothing is going to get better. But King David began to write a psalm and sing unto the Lord from within the cave. El Rey David empezó a escribir un salmo y cantar adelante de Dios por adentro de la cueva. Even when you're going through it, you can sing from within the cave. The cave doesn't stop God from hearing your praise. La cueva no detiene que Dios no puede escuchar tu adoración. The cave doesn't keep out God from blessing you. La cueva no, no está deteniendo las bendiciones de Dios. Would you praise him from within the cave tonight? Alábale aún adentro de la cueva. Praise him from within the cave. Can you imagine, church, as King David is, is sitting there in the cave? And the Bible tells us and the commentaries say that there was people within the cave with him. People that he was leading. People that he was teaching. People that he was with. Había gente adentro del cueva con él. Gente que lo estaba siguiendo. Gente que estaba aprendiendo de él. Que estaba con él en la batalla. People that were with him even in the battle. And can you imagine they began to look around? Maybe afraid. Quizás con mucho temor. And even from within the cave, he begins to sing praises unto God. Y aún por adentro de la cueva empieza a cantar salmos adelante de Dios. Él empieza a cantar con una adoración fuerte adentro de la cueva. He begins to sing a powerful, strong praise from within the cave. In the Greek, praise is Shabbat. And when you look it up in the Greek, Shabbat is how they use the word praise in this psalm. Shabbat es como ellos usaron la palabra adorar en este salmo. And the word Shabbat means to shout, to triumph, and to command. So when King David was within the cave, cuando el rey David estaba en el cueva, cuando él estaba ahí escondiendo en la cueva, when he was hiding in the cave, and he began to sing, it wasn't a whisper. No fue solamente un respiro. Quieto, una adoración, quieto, a quiet praise. It wasn't a quiet praise. The Bible says that it, I mean, the commentaries say that the Greek word shabak means to shout. So he began to praise God with a loud voice of triumph. Él empezó a adorar a Dios con un voz, de, con un voz de triunfo, en alto. He began to praise God with a voice of triumph, shouting unto God, gritando adelante de Dios con un voz de triunfo. 
because he knew God was the one that was with him. He knew God was taking care of him. He knew that even though he was in a cave, God didn't forget about him. Aún cuando él estaba en la cueva, no, no se olvidó de él. And there was someone that is watching right now, and you feel forgotten. You feel abandoned. You feel like nobody has been caring about what you're going through. Well, I'm here to let you know right now, even in the cave, God has not forgotten about you. Aún en la cueva, hay alguien que está viendo hoy esta noche y sientes como se olvidaron de ti, como nada se, nadie se importa de lo que estás pasando, que abandonaron, te dejaron ahí para sufrir a solas, pero Dios me ha mandado en esta noche para decirte que Él nunca te ha olvidado, aún cuando estás en la cueva, Dios está ahí contigo, ayudándote, protegiéndote. Él está contigo. Come on, somebody believe it right now. Even in the cave, God is still with me. Even in the cave, God has not forgotten about me. Even in the cave, God is delivering me. And the Bible goes on to say, I prayed to the Lord and he heard me. I prayed to the Lord and he answered me, freeing me from all my fears. People of God, do you know how hard it is when you're afraid? When you're afraid, it begins to paralyze you. When you're afraid, it begins to distract you. When you're afraid, it begins to hinder you. Cuando tienes temor, no puedes seguir. Cuando tienes temor, estás paralizado. Cuando tienes temor, estás, estás eh, detenido de lo que necesitas hacer. Pero la palabra de Dios nos dice, yo clamé hacia Él y Él me respondió. Y Él quitó todo temor de mí. Él en esta noche, el Señor está quitando el temor. Aún cuando estés en la cueva, even when you're in the cave, God is taking away away the fear, the fear of failure, the fear of not having enough money, the fear of not being able to provide for your family, the fear of not, a not being able to rise up in the midst of a difficult time, the fear of your marriage not working out, the fear of your children not coming back to Jesus. Every fear God is listening to you right now and he is removing, delivering you from fear right now. And you may be saying tonight, I've been in this cave. I've been in the cave of depression. I've been in the cave of suicidal thoughts. I've been in the cave of feeling like I'm just not good enough. And God is saying, I'm right there with you. I'm even in the cave with you. As King David was running for his life, can you imagine all the soldiers that were with him looking around and then beginning to hear a praise coming from his mouth. Puedes imaginar todos los soldados que están alrededor de él. Viendo, viendo alrededor y luego ven al rey David y él empiece a cantar un cántico. Y él empiece a levantar un adoración adelante de Dios. Instead of being discouraged, instead of being manipulative, instead of being, instead of being negative, he begins to sing a praise unto God. En vez de ser negativo, en vez de decir palabras de desánimo, él empieza a levantar su voz y adorar al Señor. Come on, people of God. What are you doing in the cave? Are you allowing yourself to get depressed and you're allowing yourself to get discouraged? Or tonight, can you say, I'm going to praise? Even in the midst of my circumstance, I'm going to praise you, God. Even while I'm going through it. There's something about my 